Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Lena and welcome to another video. So, as you can probably see, I did it again. <laughs> I definitely have a problem with buying books lately. It's just I can really stop and these were all so cheap that I really couldn't help myself. <laughs> Yeah, I've started uh, with the movie, and as you can see, there are no books in here, and none on the <laughs> on the bottom one either. But yeah, I thought that I would hold this so I could actually get them to my new house, <laughs> basically. So yeah, let's get started with this. I also have some ebooks that I want to show you, but what I want to add to you, I don't know much about some of these books. But you know what? Let's get into them. So just because it's right here, I bought the whole inheritance strategy. I already owned and have read the first book, but I own it on Spanish and Spanish books are really, really expensive. And it was cheaper for me to buy the whole trilogy again, other than buying only the second book. So yeah, I definitely bought it. This is a series by N.K. Jemisin and it's kind of a sci-fi fantasy post-apocalyptic where earth basically goes through these seasons that destroy everything and it was great the only thing that i don't really like about it is the second person use but overall it's fantastic you know what do you fit here did i call it the inheritance trilogy for some reason it's the broken earth trilogy what happened there then you have here Death by Dumpling by Vivian Chen and I don't know about this but it looks so good. I'm so obsessed with this cover and all the covers for this series are food <laughs> and I love it. This is kind of a murder mystery type of thing but really lighthearted and I don't know I just really like those kind of murder mysteries. So you know like um, a good girl's guide to murder that type of thing. So yeah, once I saw this, I was just like, this is made for me. <laughs> I need it. Then I bought some sci-fi. This is House of Sons by Alistair Rainers. Ah, uh, Rainers? Reynolds? I haven't read anything by him yet. Although I own, it's no longer here, Revelation Space by him. But yeah, this was super cheap and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to like um, Alistair Reynolds. So yeah, it was really no brain, a no brain no-brainer <laughs> something like that i think that this might be first contact with aliens i'm not really sure Ooh, something about two guys being in love what is this but yeah i really have no idea what it's about but i think that it, it's leaning more towards hard sci-fi but yeah i'll probably risk it i'm still in that sci-fi kick so yeah then you have a couple of claire north's books this is the games house and I've been checking this book for a while. I uh, saw it, I don't know, almost a year ago. And I think that this is actually the bind up. I think there are three, there are three of them. I'm not completely sure, but this is about a kind of clubhouse when all the elite gather and shit happens, basically. So yeah, I, I really like uh, Claire North's premises. I haven't read any of her books yet. I own this one, the next one, and the first 15 life of, lives of Harry August. I think that's the title. But yeah, I found those, I don't know, her premise is really, really interesting. Let me read you a sentence from the summary. It is the place where fortunes can be made and lost through chess, backgammon, and every game under the sun. It is a contest where Capture the castle involves real castles and where hide and seek takes place on a scale of a continent. I don't know, it sounds super good and I'm super excited to read this one. Then you have here The Pursuit of William Abbey. I literally have no idea about this book. I have no idea. The only thing that I know about it is this really cool sentence in the back that it says, I was cursed in Natal in 1884. What is it, Kat? Cursed by truth and by blood. The shadow took me and we have been together since. And I don't know, but it sounds fantastic. So yeah, I can resist, although I hate the fucking sticker right here. And it's one that I can, is it one that I can actually take out? No. Is it imprinted on the book? 
Oh my god. What a fucking monster. This is Rosewater by Tate Thompson. I, I, I've been seeing this cover forever, but I never realized that this was actually a science fiction book. It's basically about um, this kind of town village that is uh, growing side by side with, with kind of a alien biodome. Is that how do you say it? But yeah, it sounds really interesting. I have have missed reviews about it, but I'm just super, super curious about it. And I can't really wait to actually own the rest of the trilogy because these covers are fabulous. They are so colorful, but yeah, I'm super into this one. I am really, really, really thinking because I don't have like a large enough TBR right now to actually put it in there and read it this month. Then you have here Blindness by Jose Saramago. And this is a book about a plague of blindness. Basically, people tend to go blind in a moment. And I don't know, it is fairly interesting. There's apparently a movie about it. I haven't seen it. I haven't really heard about this book either, which is really weird. But yeah, this sounds really interesting. I love books with plagues. This is going to be right, right up on my alley, I think. I bought so many weird books this month. Then I also bought the sequel to Magician by Raymond E. Feist. This is Silverthorn, and I haven't read Magician yet, but this was three euros. So I literally couldn't resist. And this is so much thinner. The first one is like a real chunker. I don't know, like this big of a book. But yeah, this is not even 500, I think. Not even 400 pages. So. I'm okay with it. I mean, I have nothing against short books, but yeah. I literally have no idea what Magician is about yet, so we'll see. But I'm, I'm reading it this month, so I will know fairly soon, actually. <laughs> then you have here one book that I'm just dying to read. This is called Firefall. This is another sci-fi book, and it's apparently a first contact with aliens. This is the bind-up of the two novels, and it's gigantic. But this apparently has vampires on it. I don't know. And that is a mixture that I didn't know that I needed. But I completely do now. I mean, what the hell? In this one, apparently some objects are thrown to the earth and they start to receive this contact. Contact one from more outer space and one coming from this solar system. From in, one from the heart of the solar system. Yeah, I'm just really, really dying to read this. It just sounds amazing. But yeah, it's by Peter Woods, by the way. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. Then you have here Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. This is book two in... I have no idea who this series is called. But yeah, the first book is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Wait, because I have it here. This is the first book read this month. Completely loved it. So I was literally dying to get the sequel. I just bought it the second that I finished the first one. I think that this is going to be like a favorite series of mine. I love this kind of more cozy murder mysteries. Loved it. In this one we follow a case about a disappearance apparently and they are told in mixed media and apparently we have a podcast here so super excited about it. Then this is Un London by China Maybe. Maybe I don't know. I've he I've heard like so told so differently. So I have literally no idea how I sell it. This is apparently about a kind of alternative London. So yeah, this author is fairly known for his sci-fi works, but he has like a really weird sci-fi. I mean, one of them is also about different realities, and it has like um angels and that stuff. It's pretty weird, but I've been trying to get into his works for so long that I decided to start with this one because I think that it's actually a standalone in our series because I really want to read um, Perdido Station, I think it's called. And I don't know, it's that book is a chunker, it's gigantic and it seems pretty weird also. <laughs> so I decided to start with this. Even though I've been trying to get a copy of The City and the City, because it's, you know, a kind of, again, different realities, parallel dimensions, and that kind of stuff. And I don't know, I'm really interested in getting into this guy, into this guy's work, because 
it's it's weird it's weird but i don't know i'm i will probably either love it or completely hate it i have here we hunt the flame by hafsa faisal and i really don't know much about it it's kind of a more desert fantasy i've been keeping an eye on this book for a while i've heard really really good things about it so i don't know i'm just super curious i really like when books are not just set in kind of this medieval europe setting you know so every time that i see something a bit different i kind of grab it <laughs> and that's it but yeah i'm really really excited about this one and i also think that we have like um this trope where the girl girl pretends to be a man i think that we have one here but yeah i heard great things about it it's a fluffy paperback which you know it's already a plus point for it but yeah i'm super excited to get to this one actually i've been thinking about it much lately and i think that angela from literature science lines read this one fairly recently so yeah even though you know that i'm not really into YA fantasy i bought another one this month because i've been keeping an eye on this one for a bit and this is there will come a darkness by katie rose pool in I hate this cover, yes, I must pre I much prefer the other cover, yes, but this was four dollars, well, four euros, so we don't care about the cover. <laughs> but yeah, and it's actually pretty thick, I thought that it was actually shorter. But yeah, this is just, you know, gathering group, trying to defeat evil, trying to defeat evil, and I'm a sucker for that. So yeah, I have kind of mixed reviews about it. But, you know, I love prophecies. I love groups of teenagers <laughs> trying to save the world because why not? I really wanted to give this one a try. I find, uh, you know, really good things and really mad things. So we'll see what happens. Then I have already showed you this incredible chunker. But this is a classic tales of science fiction in fantasy. This is a Canterbury Classics Leatherbound edition. Golden spray I guess incredibly beautiful end papers why do you want to die all the time please stop it's heavy as hell also but yeah it has um stories by edward bellamy edgar rice burroughs edward arthur conan doyle charlotte perkins gilman jack london hp lovecraft philip francis nolan fitch james o'brien jules Byrne, and hg wells of course so yeah I kind of love and hate the color at the same time. It's a really weird sensation. Then, I also have here Burn by Patrick Ness. I talked about this book in a fairly recent new releases video. I think it was released on April. April or May. Somewhere. Somewhere there. I own so many Patrick Ness <laughs> books. <laughs> and I haven't read any of them. But I hear amazing things about this one. So, I don't know, dragons. I kind of want to give it a try and it's fairly, fairly short. But yeah, it was super cheap in its hardcover, so I couldn't say no. And I really love this minimalistic cover. It's just, there's something so aesthetically, aesthetically pleasant about this one. Ugh, I need to go out. Damn. Ugh. I think that I have showed this already, but this is Pinti the Complete Trilogy by Nnedi Okorafor, and this is kind of a, well, kind of, it's a science fiction trilogy based on Afrofuturism, that is. And I don't know, lately so many people have been reading it, and I'm just super excited. I think that I might read the first one, because it's just like super short. There are super, super short novellas. Cat, it's, 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 it's tough. But yeah, I'm just super excited. I loved, loved, love. I love, love, love this edition. This spine is gorgeous and I can wait to get this along with my other books. I may actually read the first novel this month because I am about to finish this semester. So I will have so much free time. Well, I need to uh, actually <laughs> start thinking about my thesis presentation, but you know, we have time. Then another super fluffy paperback. This is The Kingdom of Flyers by Nick Martell. I've been interested in this book since I've talked about it in my new releases video because the magic system is based around giving up memories, which sounds fantastic. But yeah, 
it's a high fantasy with, you know, this guy was actually outcast, but there was something really weird going on with an action. Now he's back and he's trying to figure out everything that's happened. But yeah, I've heard so many good things about this book and I can stop wiggling around because it's just so fluffy. But yeah, I'm super, super excited for it. It's gigantic. <laughs> it feels gigantic, actually. But yeah, I'm kind of dying for the next month to arrive because I want to read so many of the books that I've bought. You can't even imagine. Then I also bought Into the Drowning Deep by Mara Grant, but I have already read this one, actually, and really, really enjoyed it. But I didn't have the chance to buy it physically, but I really wanted this in my shelf. This is about basically killer mermaids. It's super good. It's kind of a mockumentary. I think that's how you say it in English. It was fantastic. I loved it. I gave it like 4.5 out of 5 stars. And I'm actually really excited to read it because I don't think that I really truly enjoyed all of it because at the time I hadn't read the previous novella that goes with this book. So yeah, I'm super excited to give it a try. If you have never read this, try it. It's such a good blend of science fiction and horror. Oh, it's fantastic. Then you have here How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin. This is actually a collection of short stories by her. And because I own every single other book by her, you know what, I decided to grab this one also because why not? This was the only one that I was missing, I think. Besides, I mean, The City We Became that I have already read. And it was fantastic. Not a huge fan of short stories, but I've been enjoying the last ones that I have read this past month. So, you know what? Let's let's keep trying. Then I also have here 16 Ways to Defend Wall City by KG Parker. This is about a city that is under siege. And I've heard so interest so many interesting things about KG Parker. Apparently. All of his books are really, really heavy on politics and slow pace, and I don't mind slow pace in my books, but I love some good politics. So I was planning already on reading this, but once I saw that, I was just like, okay, I'm grabbing this one. I've also heard really good things about the blind, blinding knife, but that's, I think that I might be missing the title, but I'll put an image up there. I just really like politics in fantasy books. And in sci-fi books, I just really like politics in general. Then you have here The Parable of the Sower by Olivia E. Butler. And I barely know anything about this. <laughs> but I um, saw that it was a sci-fi novel. And again, I couldn't resist because I do have a problem with them. <laughs> in fact, the summary that I, is in this book, I have never read it <laughs> anywhere else. But basically, we're set in the future and... There's this drug that causes you to uh, rape, murder, and that kind of stuff. So people are gathering in small communities. And the community where the main character lives is overrun. And she actually has this ability to feel what everyone else is feeling. So yeah, it sounds so good. I'm just... <sighs> For this one, I'm actually dying. I bought so many interesting books this month. I'm so proud of myself. Did I show you this book? I'm not sure, so I'm going to show it again. This is Priest of Bones by Peter McLean. McLean? I, I wanted to say McLean because I'm obsessed. This is basically Peaky Blinders, but in a fantasy setting. So you get me at that. And actually, the main protagonist is called Thomas too. So it was an easy pick. So yeah, he is basically a priest that came out of the war and now he has to rebuild his band in the city and you know what i'll take it <laughs> i'm sorry i need to put them right here they don't fit anywhere else then you have here house of dragons by jessica clues and i had no idea that this was the author of a shadow bright and burning but i'm pretty curious from that series too it's in urban fantasy set on victorian era but yeah this is about a magical tournament between houses to gain power in the city and that's it. That's all you need to know because who doesn't love magical tournaments? There are, oh, there's something about them that is so cool. And it has dragons. It has dragons. Dragon companions. You need this. I'm super excited to read this. I've heard 
amazing, amazing things about it. You know, I'm, I'm actually pretty much going to read so many of these books. And I bought another book, but it won't arrive in time. Uh, I actually bought Hella by David Gottlein? Something like that. But yeah, I bought it. You'll see it sometime. <laughs> another sci-fi right here. This is Empress of Forever by Max Glasson. And I know absolutely nothing about this. The only thing that I know is that it's about a rebellion. And that's it. But it cost me two euros. So I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just love to buy these cheap ass books to see if I actually like them. And sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes I just really like to buy books that I've never heard about because I don't have, you know, like really high expectations or really low expectations about it. And it's just like super fun to have a book that no one else has talked about and be just like completely blank and just read it. I don't know, it's probably just me because I'm really weird. <laughs> I don't know where to pick to pick. <laughs> Then, because the last time I record, I had like a huge mountain of books. I forgot to show this because it fell under the fucking bookshelf. <laughs> but this is a deck of omens by Christine Lynn Herman. This is the final book in the in the I don't know how this duology is called. But the first book is the Baron is the the Baron Gray, and was it the best book that I've ever read? No, but it was really fun. It kind of reminded me a bit of the Raven Boys. But just like it, it's a really, really long shot. I mean, just because it's a group of friends in a really small town with powers. That's it. But I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I read it in one sitting and it was fairly good. So you know what? I decided to grab the sequel when it came out and it has beautiful spread edges. And the first one has pink, blue, pink, pink, blue pink sprayed edges, so they're going to fit so good. As I've told you, Lost Town, mysteries going on, different families with different powers, super cool premise, and you know, overall, super fun book. We're reaching the end, don't worry. <laughs> this is Winter War by AJ Riddle, and I've seen so many of these other books. Here basically writes sci science fiction and post-apocalyptic, which are Two of my favorite things to read about. So yeah, this is about, as you can see, a freezing new era. And I was just like, you know what? I'll have it. I was doubting between reading this one or Pandemic. I think that is called the other book. But you know, I ended up choosing this one because I love to read just like books set on a kind of more wintry type of world because of the hotness surrounding me. But yeah, I'm really interested in this one, actually. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to put it right there. There you go. Then you have here the Resurrectionists. <laughs> this is the hardest word that I have ever said and written. This is a painful to write. By Michael Patrick Hicks. This is a horror novel, kind of Lovecraft, Lovecraftian inspired. So yeah, I've heard Brad Proctor loving this and Leslie from the Nerdy Narrative loving this also. So I decided to jump there <laughs> and bought it. And the sequel is actually apparently as good as the first one. So yeah, and it's just super short. I love short books sometimes. You know, I um, export my Goodreads to a new page, uh, Storygraph, yeah. and. Apparently, I read books between 400 and 500 pages. I knew that. <laughs> then another massive, fluffy, and super chunky book. This is Unholy War by David Hare. This is book three in the Moon Tide Quartet. I can shut up about the series being extremely good. I just read the second book and completely adored it. So, yeah. I'm super excited to read this. It's basically about these two continents that are continuously at war at each other, but once every 12 years, this bridge called the Leviathan Bridge rises up from the water and connects these both continents. And you know, now they're thinking, are we going to war? Are we not? And oh, political intrigue everywhere. Love it. <laughs> it's really slow paced, so it might not be for you, but 
completely made for me. I'm just super excited to read this, even though I've heard that the third book is the worst of them. So I'm a bit hesitant, but at the same time, I can't wait to dive again into this world. And then the last book that I have on physical here is Do You Dream of Terra 2 by, by Tammy O. Oh. I already plan on reading this, but Monica from Mooney Reads basically called me out. <laughs> on Twitter and said to me that I didn't really really needed to read this so I listened to her I bought it immediately I'm actually going to read it this month because I can really wait with everything that she told me so yeah this is about a group of astronauts trying to find a new place for humanity and how they are struggling and living in with everyone else it's it's a pretty slow book but I love it. It's kind of a, if you have seen the Solaris movie, something like that. But yeah, I'm just super, super excited to read this one. But yeah, I'm going to read it this month. And again, fluffy paperback. It's everything. I don't know how you could love hardcovers with this. Nah. Before we wrap everything up, let me tell you about a couple of books that I bought on Kindle. Because if you didn't know, I actually buy many Kindles and I didn't know if you were interested in it, but now you're eating it. I'm sorry. <sighs> First, I bought uh, Reborn Apocalypse by ML Kerr and read this, love this. The sequel just came out. Well, the audiobook for the sequel just came out, which I'm going to buy also. But yeah, I bought the sequel, the first book also in iBook. If I tell you the truth, I don't really <laughs> dig too much in my in my ebooks because I don't know. I only buy them where they are really cheap, so I don't really mind <laughs> what the book is about. <laughs> but yeah, I would read like one or two sentences, and I would just like, oh, it sounds good. I also bought the Memory Police by Joko Ogawa. I actually want a physical copy of this book, but expensive super expensive almost 30 euros and that is not happening then i also bought towers of haven by cameron millen which is kind of a little rpg mix and it kind of reminded me of sufficient advanced magic because you have to go into these towers and do things so bought it <laughs> i also bought um ink and bone by rachel kane because i've heard amazing things about it and also Blood Rush by Ben Galley because I really love Ben Galley. But yeah, those were basically all the books that I bought this month. I need to do a TBR, like a Kindle TBR tour because I own so many Kindle books. I don't know, I have such a huge problem. Thank God that I'm going to my mom's house and I won't buy as many books because I don't want to bother anyone with all the packages. But yeah. It went out of hand. I actually, I bought two more books, but I have already read them and brought them to my house. Uh, the Light Brigade and, and I don't remember the other one. <laughs> but yeah, already read them, loved them. But yeah, that's it. Have you read any of these books? If you have, please let me know if any of them are interesting because I'm dying for Firefall and we Hunt the Flame and There Will Come a Darkness and also House of Dragon. And the Olivia, Octa Olivia, Octavia E. Butler book, I'm just super excited to read. I wanted to read, I think it's from her also, um, Fletchling? Something like that. Apparently it's about vampires. But yeah, that's going to be all for today. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!